Hello everybody, this is Dave again with another video for all you pigeon people out there that need help on something. Because we all need help on something, right? Right. Anyway, this video I made, um, I'm making is how to import a race result directly into wind speed using Pydex. Um, the way that this one works is a lot of times members live many miles away from the actual club or where the secretary lives and they don't drive all the way back in and give their clocks to the secretary so the secretary can end the race you know and get all the data off the clock to merge it into wind speed a lot of times they'll go out to their loft and um, unplug the loft or unplug the clock or write down on a sheet of paper you know what birds came in first second third fourth fifth and the times and then email that information to the secretary and then the secretary then will manually put that um, data into wind speed um, so it's a little bit more work for the secretary to do and sometimes when a club votes on that and decides that they don't get all of their birds put in the race. I mean, sometimes they'll, because they didn't bring their clock in, they say, oh, I'm only going to put in five birds or ten birds, you know. So if you shipped 45 birds and, you know, you had 20 birds on a drop or something, you know, you're not getting all your points and it, it doesn't work out very good. But in our club, um, we voted upon it that most of the time all the members bring their clocks to me, even though it's 40 miles away, they'll drive it to my house and they bring me the clock and then i'm able to put all of their birds in the race and um that's you know it works good that way of course now with benzing live out there you wouldn't have to bring the clock over to me i could just pull it down off of the website that way and all your birds would be in that way too but i know some members haven't done that yet that costs more money and you know, money's always an issue on everything. If it's either buying the equipment to make your life easier or driving a distance on gas money, <laughs> you know, to do it that way. Sometimes you can't win for losing. But anyway, I'm going to show you um, the steps on how to set this up. There are directions I have on our club's website there, and there's other directions out there on how to, you know, take the clock and upload it through WinSpeed. I'm just, just going to give some people an overview on there. Um, if they wanted to watch just kind of just how to do it and I already have a race that I've already uploaded all the clocks to so that part's already done so I can actually kind of show you how it looks to take the file from where it's saved on the computer and actually merge it into wind speed and how it works okay the first thing you decide to do before you're gonna do anything you know you're gonna need of course wind speed loaded on your computer and you're also going to need Pydex loaded on the computer. Both of those, if they're on the same computer, is perfect. And that's, you know, what you need to do um, to get it to merge into WinSpeed. Um, after you get Pydex loaded in there, you do need to create, I'm going to open up my file explorer here to show you, um, under your C drive on the computer that you're in, when I open that up, you need to create a folder and you would just go up here under new folder if it's not created and hit new folder and actually create one called ATIS, A-T-I-S. That has to be created in there because that is where the clock race results or race database from, the, um, from when you evaluate the race and you save it goes into that folder and from that folder then you're able to merge it into wind speed so that's very important that you create this ATIS folder under the C directory not under another one it has to be C colon forward slash ATIS okay so that's done the next thing you will do then is create the actual race after you basket for the night you'll create a race in wind speed now I've already done that and I have it under this, my database, uh, uh, new season start. I did that under race data. And I went to edit and add a race. And the race was from Stewartville, Minnesota. And the race was on 5, 6, and 17. There was an A race and a B race. The A race um, went up at 6.30. 
the B race went up at 730 down you know so then you would I always call all of my races I put a number in front of them first because we have a couple races from this station the next one will be race three Stuartville four Stuartvilles etc um, you cannot use the same um, I don't like using the same race name and I don't believe it'll let you do that either so you want to keep them separate just so you kind of know throughout the season that was the first A there and the third and etc. Okay, um, down by here you want to load in like the when they release the birds, the wind speed, the weather, the temperature, and and the arrival conditions too. Of course, it could be different from all the lofts all over, but just a basic arrival um, wind temperature, wind, and all that in there for that, so people know like what the race conditions were. Um, Sunrise and sunset you would put in I know this this is a short race This is only I think it's about hundred and fifty miles or two hundred miles this race was so that all the birds made it home in a day But most of the time I do add in sunset and and sunrise time in there just to be sure that it's in there um, It doesn't hurt if birds do come in the next day and you don't have nothing in there It'll warn you when you do it. So sometimes it's just best to you know, just fill them all out in there. It doesn't hurt anything. So anyway, so after you create all this, like I did, you know, I went in and hit add, and I went and created race two, add. So they're both created. Um, after you um, hook up a clock, run the red badge over it, you know, evaluate the race, have it print out the results or the, the race evaluation sheet for the A race and the B race. Then on the clock, you will select... PC connect so you connect to the PC like you do normally in Pydex to either chip birds or you know um, dump birds in or pull them out of the clock um, and so when you open up Pydex like I said most of the time you're in the data transfer tab where you're in here you know and you got the birds over um, you know on this side over here and then when they upload the clock it's here and then you could either delete birds or unchip birds and then resend them back and forth but when you're doing a wind speed race and you want to merge it in you're going to use the evaluation tab over here so once you change your clock to um, PC connect you will click this green arrow here and that's what it means clock to PC it'll upload all of the birds it actually doesn't put them over here it'll um, when it's all done, it just kind of disappears. It's kind of strange that it does that. Um, but when it's done uploading, this box over here that's all grayed out will become able for you to select. Um, most all computers now will be XP2000 wind speed for that. Um, the bottom one you don't use. Um, and then you will click on this. And when you do, you have to make sure then that it's saving the file into the C colon Addis folder, okay? So you'll do that for everything. Print out a clock, um, go to PC Connect, hit the green button, wait for it to read out the clock, click on this button here, then save it um, to the um, Addis folder. Now I did all that already, and just to show you that all of the folders are in there, I'm going to bring up that Addis folder and open it up. These are what those uh, the clocks look like. They, it assigns them a number with a dot D00, and it's some kind of, um, I don't know what kind of database folder that is, but it's uh, probably a Pydex um, um, way of saving the bird, the clock, the club, and all that information is saved in that file. So there was um, seven clocks that got brought to me in each one of those um is their information for the race okay and so it's in there now when i go back to wind speed you know I'll, I'll toggle back between them but you save them all in the pydex and you come in here when you're all done you go up to clocks and add us because these are all benzene clocks i'll hit c that folder will pop up you know it's what this is reading is reading the files that are in that add us folder highlight this um um, the date and time of, you know, that's when they were all in their races in the clock. Hit next. And I'm going to go down to use loft names here because that's how I have them in the clock. 
Most of the time on the bottom, I always use the top one. Don't override color and sex because um, the members don't change that in the clock. So when I created their birds, it's right the way it is. So um, that should be the way it is. I hit next. And there's one one name up here, Wojta, that does not match up. And I will select his name. Actually, I guess none of them are because they're all, when I changed all of their names in the clock, um, I'm just, I have to tell them, match up each person here to their loft, to their name, because when I, when I did that, um, I have to just do it this way now, because one is what's in the clock and one is their real name. So I'm going to match them all up here quick. Now in the clock, there's race one that goes to one Stuartville race two goes to two Stuartville. Okay, so now they're matched up. I'm going to hit next. It says, would you like the number of pigeons transferred that would like to limit them? I'm going to say no. And this will save it. And I'm going to hit yes. And all of that goes through and it's all successful. I can hit OK. And to make sure that it works, I can go up here to the printer icon. There's the race, one Stuartville. And I always make sure I open it in WordPad, make report. And when it opens up, there's all of their times. And Paul Bursky or Brisky won the race. You know, and it shows everything on there that you did up under the other one. You know, the, the release time, the birds. There's seven. There's actually eight lofts in the race. The eighth member called his times into me. And I didn't show you, you know, how to do that. I'm just showing you how to merge the file in here. So there's that one. And the other race was the B race. That went up at 7.30, and he won that race, too. And you can see on there, because of his file, you know, he had, um, it shows up here, 10 birds. Um, you know, so that always puts this number 10 by it. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and his other birds must be farther down the line. But that is how you go ahead and... Um, Use Pydex to merge your uh, results right into WinSpeed. And um, so I hope that holds for you, and I hope you all have a great day. Till the next video, we'll talk to you again real soon. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, Dave out.